Right, that's good. I won't be able to move, but hands free. Good. You're playing chess with yourself. I'm winning. <laughs> Actually, he has no better than a 25% chance of winning at this stage in the game. Some very dodgy moves at the beginning. Hello, flesh girl. Fantastic. I'm the cyber planner. Doctor? Afraid not. I'm working the mouth now. Allons-y. Oh, you should see the state of these neurons. He's had some cowboys in here. Ten complete rejigs. You aren't the doctor. No. But I know who you are. You're the impossible girl. Oh, he's very interested in you. Why am I impossible? Hasn't he told you the sly devil? Oh, dear me. Listen, soon we wake. We'll strip you down for spare parts, then build a spaceship and move on. More Cybermen? They're waking from their tomb right now. You can either die or live on as one of us. The Doctor will stop you. He can't even access the lips. Ow! Ow! Oh, that hurt. No, stop! Enough! Bit of pain. No research. Just what I needed. Thank you. Why am I the impossible girl? Oh, it's just a thing in my head. I'll explain later. Chess game. Stakes. If he wins, I give up my mind and he gets access to all my memories, along with knowledge of time travel. But if I win, he'll break his promises to get out of my head and then kill us all anyway. That's not reassuring. No. Please tell me you can fix whatever happened to the children. Children? Yeah, they're fine. I mean, right now their brains are just in standby mode. That is not fine! Listen, right now, they have a much better chance of getting out of this situation alive than you do. Which one of you said that? Me. Cyber planner. Mr. Clever, now, if you don't mind, I have a chess game to finish, and you have to die pointlessly and very far from home. Toodaloo.